Good morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. Here we are in Long Beach, California. We have a special guest. Christopher, our son, is here with mm -hmm. us. How's it going, everyone? Yes, and this is October baseball is coming up. Yes. Along with what? Along with football just started. Yes, football season. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a really good showdown. Yes, and what's everyone's favorite snack for this sports season? Chicken, chicken wings. Chicken wings, yeah. Yes, so right behind us is Hooters. Yep. And we're going to put them up against Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And see which uh, which one has the best chicken wings. Yeah, which one's your favorite, guys? Yes, well, and we'll uh, Christopher is here with us because he's a chicken wing expert. So they say. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go in there and uh, try it out. Football special for the beers over here, dining only, and app specials as well. But we got three different flavors of the chicken wings, so we'll show you when it comes out. Here are the wings we're trying out. We got these three flavors because these three flavors are also at Buffalo Wild Wings. We are trying out the lemon pepper, mm -hmm. the barbecue, and of course you have to try the buffalo one. Uh, we got it mild, right? So they offer it in medium and a hot as well. Right. And curly fries. They have curly and waffle fries here. So we're going to dig on in. Here's the one with the buffalo sauce. I'm not a big buffalo sauce fan, but you got to try it out. This is the wingette or the flat part of the wing. A very mild. The wing is crunchy. The sauce actually isn't that bad. Probably because it's on the mild side. You want some ranch Buffalo? that we got on the side? Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna help mm. tame it or not. Actually, it's not needed because the sauce isn't spicy at all. I'm trying to explain the buffalo spray, um, sauce. It's kind of almost like a creamy vinegar. It's almost like a creamy, creamy vinegar sauce. It comes off super easy. And the chicken is moist. The wings are crunchy. On the medium side. Actually, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Going for the drum hit. No. I can already tell that it has a lot of meat on it. It's very light. Mm -hmm. um, you could definitely taste the buffalo sauce on it, but it's definitely light, so that's why I know that they have the mild, medium, and hot, because this is not spicy at all. You just have the buffalo flavor onto it. So, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna try it with the ranch. With the ranch, is not bad, but I think with the buffalo sauce, since there's so much sauce on it, that it's good by itself. No ranch needed, so it's pretty good. My turn to give this uh, buffalo Try. Here we go. Like everyone mentioned, we typically don't get buffalo sauce, but it is surprisingly pretty good. The chicken itself, again, is nice and crispy on the outside, moist inside the middle. This is the uh, the drumette, right? And yeah, this um, no no complaints at all about it. I I can see having this with maybe. Uh, a mug of beer or something. You go down easy. Lauren, how do you explain the buffalo sauce? Mm. There's a combination of vinegar, some cream, and the hot sauce. Kind of mix those three together, and that's your buffalo sauce. Uh, like a mild sauce, not a hot sauce, but like right. a mild sauce. Yeah. But not sweet at all. Definitely on the uh, Tangy side, right? The barbecue one, really good sauce step. Good piece of the drumette. Oh yeah. The wing, or the drumette is extremely crunchy. Chicken is good. I think the chicken's on the medium small side.
And the sauce is sweet. It's a good chicken. Thank you, babe. Barbecue time. All right, here's the barbecue. Uh, my personal favorite for a flavor for wings. So let's try it out. It's pretty good barbecue sauce. Um, not much to say about this one, honestly. I mean, if you've had barbecue wings, this is pretty much what it tastes like. So it's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Traditionally, this is uh, called the wingette, right? But a lot of people refer to this as the flat. It's the one with the two bones in the center. Here we go, a little dip in the ranch. Then they do offer blue cheese as well. The barbecue sauce they have here is on the sweet, slightly tangy side. It's a very good barbecue sauce. I could just uh, have this on like some pork ribs or some pulled pork as well. But for the chicken wings, it, it matches very well. And what I like about it is it definitely, it, they're, they're, they're sauced up pretty well. Yet they still retain that crispiness of the chicken. So they are definitely fried well. And you get that crunch of the, of the outside, even when it's sauced up. The flat lemon pepper. You can see again the crispiness of it. The pepper is very slight and you do, you do taste a lemon flavor. It's crunchy. It's fried well. It's still pretty juicy, not dry. Good flavor of that little lemon tartness on this chicken. Fried chicken with a hint of lemon. That's what exactly it tastes like. And it's moist. The sauce is crunchy. It's a good dry rub on this lemon pepper. Look how gnarly this looks. You can just see that batter crust on this drumette. I'm just gonna go right for that big piece right here. That's really crispy. Mm -hmm. Wow. It is some too strong on the lemon or pepper flavor to it. Very slightly salty. Yeah, if, if, if you're not into the sauce, this is definitely a good option for the dry rub. Again, chicken is nice and moist. I would kind of consider the size of this drumette maybe like uh, small to small medium. Yeah. So it, it's not super huge, but of the pieces, like this is a this is another one. You can see the one that had had a little bit more meat on the top compared to this one. Yeah, they seem to be consistent in size, with the occasional drumette that's really big, just like this one right here, this barbecue. Some of them are, are bigger than the other ones, but overall they're basically the same size. Alright, let's try out these curly fries here. I'm gonna dip it in some ranch. They're pretty good. What I like about curly fries is a lot of places don't sell curly fries. So when a place usually offers to get curly fries, I usually get them because it's just more fun to eat. Some of them are like round and really thin and it's a lot easier to eat sometimes. Um, but yeah, these ones are pretty good. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Um, they're not really seasoned that much, right? Not, not like Arby's yeah. or something. Oh yeah, definitely not seasoned like that, just with like salt and everything. But yeah, they're pretty good. Hey, that's a wrap up for Hooters. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't actually been to a Hooters in, oh my gosh, 30 years. Yeah, mine is uh, maybe, I don't know, 20 maybe. Wow, yeah, how about you? I think it's been like four years. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, four it's been years. a while. Right. Four or five years. So what was your favorite wing out of the three? I like the lemon pepper. I lemon like the non-sauced up one. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you, Christopher? 
I would have to say the buffalo. I don't normally eat buffalo wings, so I don't know if that's the reason why mm -hmm. I liked it the most, because I usually don't eat it. But mm -hmm. How about you, babe? I, I gotta go with the barbecue. <laughs> oh, yeah. All three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't go wrong with the barbecue if you like barbecue, of course. Yep. So it's next we're gonna go try the next place. Yes, and uh, ironically, uh, this hood is right here, is right next to where they're setting up for the Long Beach Grand Prix. Which I think is this weekend. Yeah. Right, this coming weekend. Yeah, so, so I'll, I'll give you cool. a little shot of it setting it up. Yeah. This is where you could catch um, harbor cruises just yeah. right out of here, right? I believe they have like whale watching cruises and anything like that. I think they even have dinner cruises mm -hmm. here as well. Arrived at spot number two. Yep. Buffalo Wild Wings here in Torrance mm -hmm. at the uh, Del Amo Fashion Mall. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Let's get some more wings. Do it. Right now, here at Buffalo Wild Wings, there's no outside seating, so we're inside here. We are getting, again, um, six wings each. We're gonna try the same flavors, the lemon pepper dry rub, the sweet barbecue, there's this called sweet barbecue here, and their original buffalo. Yeah. And fries. And there's a uh, soccer game going on right now. Servings of the six wings. One with the lemon pepper dry rub, one with the sweet barbecue, and one with the original buffalo. I can see the, just the wing sizes. They're not very uniform, meaning there's not like three flats and three drumettes. Like this one has four flats, two drumettes. This one has a lot of drumettes, and this one has a lot of flats. So, oh, yeah, it's all yeah, random then, huh? It's all very random. And this one comes also with veggies. Yes. It comes with carrots and celery. <clears throat> how you know how I like my veggies? So this time we, we did get the same thing, the uh, original buffalo. We got the original buffalo, the lemon pepper, and their barbecue, sweet barbecue. Yes. And they even give little tags. I'm telling you which ones you got. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna try these out. Yep. I'm gonna try out this buffalo first. Nice and sauced up. It smells a bit spicy. No, they didn't Is ask it? if it was mild, yeah. medium, or hot. The only thing they have is, is their original buffalo. So, good size wing. About the same size, if not a little bit bigger than the ones you got at Cuba Hooters. See, it's nice and saucy. This one's spicy. It's spicy. It's crunchy, a little bit spicy. But the chicken is extremely tender. This is, I think, the reason. This is where I tried it, where I didn't care for buffalo sauce. Because right now, my mouth is on fire. I see if this um, ranch can cool it down. A little bit. So, that buffalo flavor, which is that tanginess of that vinegar, that creaminess, um, hot. Um, the wing, though, it's a good sized wing. It's not, it's a little bit crunchy, not as crunchy as the ones in Hooters, but it's a good size and it's a very juicy one. Alright, this is the barbecue. Let's try it out. Um, I kind of like this barbecue a little bit more than the Hooters barbecue. Uh, I can't really remember if the Hooters barbecue was as sweet as this and you know, as a sweet barbecue but the type of meat they used with the wings it just tastes like better quality. Oh, right. Good to know. It's 
good. Lemon pepper. Here you go. Let's go for it. Good lemon pepper seasoning. Similar, very similar to Hooters. It's not that salty. Good flavor. On this particular wing, I think the one in Hooters was actually a little bit more, more juicy, more moist. Nonetheless, it is it has a nice little crunch to it. And again, good lemon pepper seasoning flavor. Yeah. It's good too. That's a good looking barbecue wing right there. It is sweeter than the ones at Hooter. Their wings are more of a like non-breaded wings. They're more almost like a, a smoked wing that's covered in sauce. There's no crunch like you were eating a fried chicken or anything like that. It's a uh, juicy. It's a good size wing, almost the same, kind of the medium, the medium small side. It's a good wing. Regular thing cut fries. It's a good fries. Super crunchy. And creamy on the inside. It's really thin. Not quite like a shoestring fry, but it has that crunch like a shoestring fry. It's a good tasting fry actually. Dare I say, lit in line are better than McDonald's fries? I don't know, but they're pretty good. Alright, there's the lemon pepper. I taste more of like the lemon than the pepper. I don't know if that's just that first bite, but it is pretty good. Um, I have to disagree with my dad. I think the ones at Hooters were a little bit tastier. It was more of a balance between the lemon and the pepper. But I don't know. Let me try one more bite. Yeah, it tastes a little bit more of the lemon than the pepper. It's still like a hint for me, but it still is a really good wing. Now, their reviews of the buffalo got me a little bit worried a little bit because, you know, I'm not too much of a spicy person. So without even trying the first bite, I'm going to give it a, a little dip into the uh, ranch just to have maximum cooling effects. Definitely hot. If Gouda's was like on a scale of two as far as spiciness, this is about an eight in that scale level. Definitely a lot more spicy. Uh, yeah, very vinegar, hot sauce type of flavor to it. Some may, some may love it, but unfortunately for me, it's a little bit too spicy. Lemon pepper. Let's try this. What we noticed is that the breading on these wings are hardly any done. I believe these are like more of the smoked, non-breaded wings, and this is the way it comes. It's nothing that we asked for. This one, good taste, good crunch to it. My wing is a little dry though, but it's actually a good wing. Hit up with a little bit of ranch. It's really good with ranch. As being a small, oh, either lightly breaded or no breaded wing, this is a good wing. Even though it's a little bit dry, it's still a good wing. My turn to try this barbecue out. As far as size, uh, they're about the same size as the ones that we uh, had at Hooters. Definitely a, a more sweeter side barbecue sauce to it, flavor. Good, good taste to it. The wing seems to be uh, pretty consistent on all three flavors. All right, here's the original buffalo. This one's easy to judge. The one at um, Hooters is like 10 times better. I like hot food, 
but this has some meat to it. Um, and I think even the people that do like hot food, the, the taste of the buffalo, it's like super tangy. Um, that's just not my style. The ones at Hooters was a lot better than this one. But it's still, if you like hot food, you want to try it. That is a wrap for our chicken wing lunch. Mm -hmm. That's well, interesting. Yeah, so I guess the big question yeah. is which one's our favorite, the Buffalo Wild Wings or Hooters? Three, so two, on, one. on the count of three. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. Hooters. Hooters. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty unanimous for me, Hooters. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, the chicken was just a lot more uh, juicy. Yeah. All, all three. And um, I don't know, just the flavors were there. Yeah. How about you guys? Yeah, it was. I like the fries here. Um, I did like the lemon pepper, even though the chicken was dry. I like the more of the lemon pepper seasoning here. Um, I really like the buffalo sauce at Hooters. Uh, here was a bit too spicy. When I think of buffalo sauce, this is the type of buffalo sauce that I know I don't like that is, was served here. And for buffalo sauce, how about you, babe? Yeah, same thing. The, the buffalo sauce here was way too hot and they don't give you a choice right. of having it mild, medium or hot. It just comes one way. Yeah. How about you, Christopher? Agree with everything you said. Um, barbecue. I think you not necessarily the, like the barbecue better here. Yeah, the barbecue one is better here. Um, for the buffalo one, without speaking about it being too hot or not, because, you know, there's some people that like spicy, but I can just say, based off the buffalo flavor, it's a lot better at Hooters. The vinegar so. was really strong in this buffalo. Right. So, so there you go, guys. Uh, if you're if you're deciding between which chick, uh, uh, chicken place to go to, chicken wings. right for your chicken wings, yeah, we recommend Hooters. Hooters. Yep. yep. We did, we did sit down places. We didn't do like wing stop or anything like that. More of a sit down place yeah. uh, where we were watching TVs, you know, seeing the sports. Um, no football, of course, but they were what. We were watching our replays of baseball and everything like that. And soccer was and going soccer. on. And soccer, yep. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, that's it for our chicken wing ch uh, shootout or uh, showdown, showdown over here. Uh, so until then, uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.